By the way, one of my friends actually got an audition to be a voice in this game. Didn't get the part, but... Still very cool. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. You do not seem dressed uh, appropriately to be in this kind of weather, my friend. The wall. Always wanted to see it. But not like this. Move. All right, where's Jon Snow? Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Ooh, snail mail. This uh, this is probably not too safe to watch if you have never seen Game of Thrones and you're planning on seeing it. This uh, this uh, game takes place uh, like after season three, doesn't it? And there's a lot of shit Your that goes down pre season three. Because mm. you got that look about you. I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Frostfinger, eh? Frostfinger. That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Actually, I feel like... Of all the places in Game of Thrones, the Castle Black has probably the highest concentration of nice people. I mean, sure. That's not saying a lot. But there's a lot of good people in the Nice Watch. You got you got Sam, you got John, you got all their friends. They weren't really nice to start, but Ooh, Claymore's a good show. Start slow, but uh, but keep with it. It gets better really fast. You recruits, you come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tucker. It doesn't matter who you are. Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. Fuck Abandon you. your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace <coughs> cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. Hmm. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Night's Watch also gets to wear some oh, of the coolest no. armor in Game Some of Thrones, I think. Later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Though, 
The Starks get to wear some pretty cool armor too. I love like the Last the wolf had, pelts that well. they have. So Malcolm caught a ship headed for. They give us month old bread. There's fucking worms in it. Ugh. And Lord Whitehill is about these. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers always starving. seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. The goes locked to my yeah. side, Just like look his own. Away, look away. Stop looking at me. He has no I'm self conscious. Is that him? Nope. Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. You're hideous. You're a bloody cripple. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. Oh, you guys what are scrub bastards. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't How think you are gonna dare be you? I wonder what's weaker. Your legs. Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. Ooh, his eye is nasty. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. Yeah, his face looks awfully infected. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's gonna have some badass scars though. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin <laughs> doesn't know everything. Oh. <laughs> Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the White Hill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord White Hill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole. Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. It's because you have no wits. How dare you? I will have order. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. 
Then find me one, Sir Royal. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. Well, the Boltons are really scary. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. I don't know if you know this, but marriages well, tend to not go very well in Game of Thrones. Changed. Let's not... The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Oh, keep them drunk. Keep them white. I want them dull, not angry. Well... Yes. <laughs> Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. I take it Roderick has never Please. seen an angry drunk. It's time to light the Ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. I'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Talia needs another hug. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Uh. I kind of burned that bridge. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And. Mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Aha! Right answer! <laughs> I love, like, the pat on the, the back seal. I get when I get uh, something right. Oh, I want a hot wax and to send, hot wax sealer. Done with the cursed things. One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I don't trust you! What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She wants she something again. I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. 
How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, <laughs> it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Uh, she no, asks too much. Shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. I've already gotten in trouble. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. Oh, good. Marjorie, you're you're too but it you're too good. Be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You're right. You're too you're too wonderful of a person, you Marjorie. Me you're the, and you saw the I results. know, I know. Come on, calm down. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his I own. agree. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Uh Mitch, did you make the same choices James made in episode one? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't actually see James's uh, choices. If Lady Marjorie were to no, don't, no, no, <laughs> no, don't even think about it. You're not tarnishing the name. Of Lady so Marjorie Tyrell. You are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. Oh, I'm glad I didn't do a that. <laughs> or oh, a declaration of war. I know you're very busy with. Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Oh man, she would have sold me out so hard. Go ahead then. Well, it's We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're probably a nice girl, but I trust no one in King's Landing who's not Marjorie or, Tyr or Tyrion. Bloody cold today, isn't it? It's bloody cold every day. You're in the fucking wall. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Ah, fuck off. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. <laughs> He'll remember that. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. No. To defend the realm and I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes. What? No! <laughs> I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter Welcome the back. Fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Uh, let's be quiet. I'm not a rat. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? 
Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Jon Snow! I need a word. Is that actually the actor who plays Jon Snow? Go on, get started. If they could get all the actors from from the show into this game, of luck. that'd be pretty impressive. They would have a much higher budget than I would have imagined for a Telltale game. Here we go. I know that they got uh, Peter Dinklage. The voice or the the actor for Cersei or Cersei. And that's all I know for sure. Demonstrate my combat skills. Alright. You're doing that all wrong. Well we don't have these where I hey. <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Uh, he should probably get a doctor or something to look at that. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Oh. You can follow orders at least. Next I can aim pretty well too. Target, head. All right, all right. Uh, uh. Can I shoot one of these guys? Good. Right target, chest. I have to see if Phil let me. <gasps> Something wrong with <laughs> What did it say? Right target, chest, leg. I didn't hear what he said. Oh! Hold on! <laughs> Where did you say? I didn't hear you. I was I was too busy. Not bad. Center between the eyes. Center between the eyes. What? Perfect. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Should shoot Jon Snow. What have you done, Snake? You've created a time paradox. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. right off him. Nice Don't little pickpocket right. you got. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Took an arrow to the foot. I took an arrow to the foot. Took an arrow to the foot. I took an arrow to the foot. Long ago I was deported. Back to Castle Black I went. <clears throat> Where am I going here? Barrels? Lift the barrels? You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? <laughs> oh, I could do that. In fact, that's easier. Uh, 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 
<laughs> oh, come on, you sound like a girl. Steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cloth. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Hey, hey, Finn. I'll be around. Where's your here. dagger? Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. So, when do I get to... There we go. Let's do some sword play. Take that! Take that, you horse! Oh, bloody top. You, grab a practice sword. I said it's a chest. This one should do. There we are. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Whoop. <gasps> Stab it. Come on, keep at it. <gasps> you know what they called me? The second best, best QTE master in the Forester house. Well, four. Get off me, you bloody ox. That voice. I was not you expecting that voice from that body. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides. I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe, Maybe someone, someone stole, stole it. it. Who the fuck would have... It was you. What? what? I, I, how could... I, fucking thief. How could you possibly have gotten that from, from what I said? <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it! Do something! Fuck! You have no chance. I've been wanting to beat you up ever since you fucking ever ever since I saw your ugly ass face. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Oh, he's got me in mount! <laughs> My turn. Wait, my. What? It wouldn't click. Get off the. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. <laughs> and Garrett defended it. <laughs> he sounds like such a baby. No longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. <laughs> Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Whatever you say, Jon Snow, I'll follow you anywhere.
Alright, I know, unfortunately, I said that I would uh, complete this, uh, this video or this episode today, but we're going to actually end this right here and uh, continue it tomorrow. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll probably be playing uh, some more Smite today, so uh, look for me online uh, in about, I, I don't know, later, later tonight. Uh, so, yeah. Bye-bye, everyone.